Beautiful people gather around. Lovers of Cora Obidi and Justin Dean. Yes, so Justin Dean posted a caption from this bag on his Facebook page saying, who wants to hear his story? He was asking and he said he's tired of the harassment and lies, that he's ready to tell his story. And people are wondering what else is there to, to tell? What is it that we've not heard about Justin Dean and Cora Obidi's story? So guys, Justin Dean came up and he has a series of his story that he needs to tell the people about him and Cora Obidi. Guys, hear what he has to say. I got divorced. And since I got the divorce, I have been accused of domestic violence. I have been accused of stealing. I have been accused of attempted murder. I have been accused of everything under the sun. I've accused, been accused of rape. I've been accused of sexually molesting my daughters. I have been accused of everything you could possibly think of. And for the last two years, I've taken it on the chin and just tried to ignore it, tried to live my life. So guys, coming out to defend all those things that Justin Dean has said, Cora Obidi said about him, he said he's not in a place where he can actually come out to defend himself spiritually and otherwise in his mental state. He said he has been dancing, he has been depressed and all that coming from the fact that there had been lies told against him and that Cora is um, putting up bloggers against him and he's here to defend himself, especially in the aspect that Cora had said he beats her, he abuses her, and a lot of things. Guys, actually, looking out how this had to come out now, like I said earlier, is it that these things that Justin Dean is out to defend, is it that we have not heard of them before? Is it that these things have not been spoken about before? Or is it that Justin Dean just wants to trend because Cora is actually trending right now. Guys, this is something that needs to be looked at. He said he's in the right state of mind to come out with these things, but looking at it very well, Justin Dean is not actually in the right state of mind to say these things because he's pained deep inside. He's pained, that's why he's coming out to say this, of which a lot of persons thought he had already moved on. But guys, no, he had not moved on hear what he had to say is things like i kicked her out on the street and she was homeless with two babies bleeding on the street that's not true in fact it's very easy to prove that lie um that she was abused she was not abused i was abused uh, which i can prove but there's that she put out statements that i beat her up and she had a miscarriage all of this stuff she put in a restraining order which made me lose my kids. She said I pulled a knife on her. She said all kinds of things that just were not true. I treated that woman with love, respect, and I dedicated my life to seeing her grow. And this is what I got in return because I left because I was unhappy and much more. Guys, you'll be surprised to find out that all these things that Justin Dean is defending himself from are being read from Cora Obidi's book. Guys, Justin Dean had read her book and he figured out those parts where he feels that he can defend himself or he's going to use to say that Cora is lying and he came out to start saying things about them. People halfway across the world, in Nigeria mostly, attempt to destroy your life. They've they actively did destroy my business. I was down 90% in revenue. They destroyed my mental health. They destroyed my physical health. And they destroyed my spiritual health. For, and I, which I based on lies. Complete, bogus, fabricated Seriously, lies. Seriously, Justin I've already proved this. had accused Nigerian women of ruining his business and um, destroying his life. He said that... These are toxic women, especially from Nigeria. Like seriously, this matter, not this small matter. Like seriously, 
how is it possible that somebody who is um recruiting people behind the scene justin didn't have a group where he goes to tell people about cora where he manipulates people about cora and uh, he would come out and call people especially women from nigeria toxic seriously guys i don't even know what to take out of this i am telling my truth who cares to hear and all the embarrassment that justin Dean said he's been going through like seriously okay you're trying to point out that cora obidi is lying and he's there saying that nigerian women are toxic. it's time serious that I, I i'm a man of principle and integrity am i perfect am i innocent in this story absolutely not nobody's innocent in divorce it's just not like nobody's innocent in a toxic relationship my relationship was on social media and my divorce was on social media but the, the but the lengths and levels that it went is simply unacceptable um it's it's all for money it's all for it's all for sympathy and it's it's really mental health disorders really true. guys justin Dean said his relationship is in social media his divorce is in social media but guys he was the one that came out to let the people know that he's getting a divorce now he's saying that his relationship and his uh, re uh, divorce is on social media and that is not good for his mental health that um cora is doing it all for money and for selfish reason but guys you brought just indeed brought out his relationship issues to social media and people start interfering into it cora was forced to start talking and as Justin Dean is saying his part, Cora also is saying her part. Now you are saying she's lying. Justin Dean should know that this is a divorce case and everybody has a part. Everybody has their parts to share to whoever that cares to listen. He came out to tell the people that their divorce is, he is getting a divorce, thereby bringing their marriage issues to social media. Find that we are already on social media creating content, but coming out to tell the people that he's getting a divorce to save his life, he he was the one that went too far, and now he's complaining. He's saying that Cora sharing her part through her book is lying. Like seriously, guys, what does Justin Dean want? Because now he's saying Cora is using their divorce or their life to create content and make money out of it but if you ask me guys what is he actually doing coming out now to start talking because cora is actually raining right now as in cora is trending on social media right now after the at attack if justin Dean should come out to start saying things about their divorce it means he wants to also make money out of cora's name that's why he's out to say whatever he's saying right now to bring Cora down by saying he, she's lying, reading through her book to create content, saying she's lying to make money. Meanwhile, he's there saying all these people are watching. Also, thereby he's generating money. So what is Justin actually saying? I have been trying for two years to keep my emotions in check and just let this storm weather over and uh my ex staging a knife attack in in london which i'm completely convinced of it i've looked at all the evidence i've talked to the i've talked to detectives everyone's unanimously convinced it was fake and guess who and guess why it was faked to make it seem like i had something to do with it i wish my ex-wife well i want her to succeed my mentality is the better she does the better the kids do but it shouldn't be at the sacrifice of the father fathers matter i'm sticking up for fathers everywhere so guys justin dean is actually coming out to speak out on this because he feels that they are accusing him of staging the attack on cora and he's saying that the attack is a lie that he 
no Korah more than anyone that Korah is staging it that is a lie and he's still saying that he's standing up for men everywhere that he's been abused mentally psychologically that Korah has abused him and all Korah's court are the one abusing him mentally and psychologically that he is not actually okay in terms of those things so yeah this is what um, Justin V is saying what do you think, guys, who is telling the truth? Who is lying here? Cora Obidi or Justin Dean? Guys, let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you in my next one. Please subscribe, like, and share.